Our next stop is at Huon River, the fourth largest river in Tasmania. It's 170 kilometres in length and runs through the fertile and truly spectacular Huon Valley. Right, okay everyone, welcome to Huon Jet. I'm John, I'm one of your drivers today. We're going to take you for a 12 kilometre ride up the Huon River. We'll be going up through a few rapids and things and doing a few 360 degree spins. So come along for the ride of your life. It's the afternoon of day one. We spent the morning on land with some frills amongst the animals, the wildlife that is. But now our troops, they take to the water. Let the frills continue. So the jet engine starts up on the back, it's like taking off in an aeroplane. The boat lifts up at the front and you just power goes and you just scream your hands up and away you go. It's really, really good. I thought we were going to smash into rocks and trees. I'm thinking, oh my God, there's a tree. Has he not seen the tree? And then he's just like, oh look, we're around the tree. Um, I, uh, I don't know, it was crazy. Woo! Came awfully close to some big tree stumps, which is a little bit scary, but no, it was just so much fun and insane. Just absolutely insane. So we got into the boat and it was all really good, it was nice and smooth and I thought, okay, I can handle this, it was all good. And then all of a sudden we started swaying and I thought, okay, yeah, could handle that just. And then he was doing this and we had to do it with 360 all the way around. Yeah, you just go straight to the edge and then all of a sudden he just pulls it around. And because you've got no control, you just got to go with it. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, your heartbeat, just rushing. The boat is a Marathon 5.6 metre aluminium hull. It's powered by a 5.7 litre fuel injected V8 Chev motor. That drives an 8 inch Hamilton jet unit, which is basically just a big water pump. Sucks water up from underneath, squirts it out the back. Um, our Captain Joe, I think he is slightly loose, and he clearly enjoys his job of scaring the pants off people. Some of those logs in the rocks we were getting just inches away from is amazing, you know. Taking the boat through these little channels that you think, no, you can't get a boat through there. But he did. And we dodged trees and we dodged rocks and we did spins and we did all sorts of it. It was just fantastic fun. We only need 100 mils of water wow. to get through. So think of the kitchen sink at home. Yeah. You've got more water in that kitchen sink than what I need to to get through. So that's what allows us. No propellers, no rudders, no keels. So that, that's what the special nature of the jet boat is. Watching the trees and looking into the background and trying to take mental pictures of that as well to take home and describe to everyone, it's just serene. Joe was explaining it's a glacial river, I think it was created by glaciers, so you can sort of see the way it's been cut through and you can see all the trees and how they're growing, hanging onto rocks on the side of the bank, like scaling up the cliffs, it was amazing, yeah. Oh mate, there was uh, the trees, it was just absolutely still when we slowed down. If they turned the boat off, I bet you would have thought you could have been anywhere in the world, nowhere near a road or anything like that. And then, um, you know, when they cranked it up and got it going, that was just wicked. You could see all the wooden trees coming out from the river and we just missed them do a 360. Oh, it was just, we had the greatest time on the boat. We had a screaming match, <coughs> hands high, screamed our guts out. Absolutely fantastic. <coughs> <laughs> That's what we're all doing, white knuckles. <laughs> I've lost my voice, I was screaming so loud, I was screaming like a kid. My knuckles were white, I was hanging on for dear life, but I loved it, it was so much fun. 